So I was a teenager and we had, you know, the big clunky computers and it was, I think, Yahoo that had this thing that everyone was doing at school where you would upload a picture of yourself, which would take like 10 minutes, and then another 10 minutes would go by and it would slowly upload a picture of your celebrity doppelganger. So my sisters did this and, you know, got whoever, Hillary Duff and whoever else, and I did it and this picture of a vamp came up, a black and white picture, you know, and Theda Barrow was going like this with all her thick black mascara and I was kind of shocked and I think I was a little offended. And so when I looked her up and realized who she was, then I became obsessed. Theda Barrow was a silent film star of the late teens and early 20s and is widely considered one of the great and one of the first kind of sexual icons. The Hollywood studio created the persona of the vamp, of the witch, of the descendant of Cleopatra wandering in the desert. That mythology was very much a part of her legacy. I don't know, I think the things that are kind of interesting about Theda Berra are both how spectacular she is and how kind of otherworldly and larger than life she is um, and how actually kind of normal she was. I think that Theda Berra is a queer figure and resonates with queer folks because I think that Theda Berra was, um, as a vamp, was othered and yet used that otherness as a form of power and seduction. Theda Bear has kind of always been the product of someone's imagination. She has been whoever people wanted her to be, and I think that's what this what this play is exploring. And um, she represents the kind of slipperiness of identity. <laughs> 